This is the X3M. It's finally here. Now I know, I know, you're all sick of fast SUVs and you want little tiny sports cars and blah, blah, blah. And normally I'd agree with you. But spoiler alert, I love this car. This specific car is the BMW X3M Competition. That means it has a 3-liter twin-turbocharged inline-six engine, making 503 horsepower and 442 pound-feet of torque. BMW claims 0 to 60 in 4 seconds flat, but it feels quicker than that on the road. It's a real shame that BMW took so long to come out with an X3M though, because this is unquestionably the best M SUV yet. It has all the right ingredients to be a great M car. It's very fast, it's raucous, and it's sharp. But more importantly, it's fun. It brings drama and a sense of humor to even the most mundane trips to the store. It's a genuinely exciting car to drive, even slow. Forget its size or shape, this is a real deal M car. Now this might upset some BMW fans, but I actually think that this car is more fun than the F80 M3 in any iteration. And I'll take it even one step further and say that this completely negates the need for an M3 Touring that so many fans wish BMW would make. To be honest, this kind of is one. Under the skin, the X3M is essentially the same as the upcoming M3. They share the same engine, gearbox, and even a similar all-wheel drive system. The X3M only differs in its size and practicality. It's even quite spacious back there. The back seat isn't in the 7 Series, obviously, but it's nice. It's got space for adults. Three adults can sit back there. The rear seats recline, so if you're you know, tall, you can gain some extra headroom a little bit, or maybe even just take a nap. <clears throat> I have a child seat in the back, and it was super easy to install. There's still tons of space for the front passenger. It's a perfectly usable, everyday family SUV. It just so happens to have 503 horsepower. When you combine its fun factor, overall performance, and surprising practicality, the BMW X3 M might just be the very best M car on sale. Now, I know that there are commenters and fans, as we speak, coming up with new, unique, and interesting ways for me to kill myself for suggesting that an SUV could be the best M car on sale. But I'd also be willing to bet that none of its doubters have ever driven it. Because once you get behind the wheel, it genuinely convinces you. This would change any doubter's mind. What makes the X3M so good is that it's more than the sum of its parts. Forget zero to 60 times or any performance metrics like that. It's just a genuinely really fun car to drive. The steering is really sharp, it's weighted really nicely, and there's so much front end grip. It almost refuses to understeer, which is impressive for a big all-wheel drive SUV. And it's a surprisingly playful thing too. I mean, you could chuck it in and get on the power and the tail end will wiggle a little bit. Like, it really likes to play. It's not just a big brute. It, it's a willing dance partner, it really is. It's not perfect though. It definitely has a few flaws. One of which being its suspension. At least its ride quality. Because it is brutally stiff. I mean, it is rattle your bones, shake your teeth stiff. It is not enjoyable to drive over rough pavement at all. It also seems to find bumps in the road. I've been driving this thing for the past few days over roads that I know well and I know to be smooth. Roads that I've driven over in many different cars. And I know that they're smooth, but in this, it feels like I'm driving over corrugated iron. I guess the trade-off is its remarkable handling capability. I've ridden shotgun in this car on track and what it can do on track is shocking. It really is mind-blowing how capable this thing is on track for such a tall SUV. That's the thing though, it doesn't really feel like a tall SUV. Instead, it just feels like an M3 with a big trunk. Of course, an M3 wagon would handle a bit better, and it would look a bit better. But this X3M competition really isn't too far off, I promise you. 
it's also the closest we're going to get. So rather than complain about not getting an M3 wagon, we should just embrace the X3M for what it is, a kick-ass SUV.